My name is Russell Stanigarok. I'm from Parker School, a tribal member, and I've really been excited through the years, and today I'm excited, and it's Native American Week that we are having this virtual fashion show because of the reasons that has been bestowed upon us, unfortunately. But ladies and gentlemen, I wanna shout out that I'm from Rocky Boy, Parker School area, and I've been announcing powwows for many years, singing, and I've been really socially involved also in my community and throughout Indian country. I want to thank Rebecca and the gang for allowing me to be a part of the fashion show again this year. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and relatives, welcome to the fourth annual Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show by Rebecca Jarvey and company. Myself, Whitney Red Counter II, one of the MCs with Russell Standing Rock. Thank you for joining us. A little bit about uh, the fashion show. My name is Whitney Red Counter II, and I come from the Hook Party Dakota Oyate, also the co founder of the Social Distance Powwow. And uh, my co MC is Russell Standing Rock. Host drum is Montana Cree. And also, one of our main performers is Spur Puyer. Also, videographer, we want to give a shout out to Pow Wow Times. This year's, uh, you know, we're Mask Up While Being Indigenous is the theme. And also, I uh, want to say thank you to all the featured designers. Uh, Okonav, designs by Della, Plain Soul, King, Kings and Queens, Alex Star Blanket and uh, N.A. Notions, as well as Ella B. Want to say thank you for uh, joining us here on the Honor Our Legacy 4th Annual Fashion Show. A little bit about this celebration, ladies and gentlemen. This started on the community up there in Montana and uh, kind of the uh, Honor uh, Our Legacy uh, through fashion design. Rebecca is a part of the power world, part of the fashion world, and maybe many of you caught uh, Rebecca uh, went viral around the world uh, with her virtual posting on the social distance power page, uh, the mask, the staying safe and uh, promoting mask up while being indigenous. And uh, so we wanna say thank you to Rebecca for keeping the spirit alive and, and sharing those uh, the talents and encouraging the fashion designers across Indian country. This is the two part fashion show, ladies and gentlemen, in incorporating uh, the power world with fashion in the first part is a competition of the fashion show uh, to get uh, the community involved and help us to be proud of it being indigenous and uh, share the talents of all of our our uh, fashion designers as well as those that uh, can make power regalia and also the second part is uh, the uh, designer showcase to showcase the attire of the fashion designers across Indian country and this would usually be the fourth annual uh, gathering, but because of the COVID-19 restrictions, we're not able to gather up there in Montana. So we're, we're going virtual this year to share across the world on the platforms throughout social media. I want to say thank you uh, to all of the individuals involved. Usually this uh, gathering in Montana is uh, during Native American week. Uh, the first, uh, you know, or the last week of September, I should say, and uh, to bring pride to indigenous peoples and also uh, for the to celebrate indigenous heritage. So usually this, this fashion show uh, usually will bring home uh, the Native American Heritage Week up there in Montana, and they will end with the fashion show. And Rebecca, when she brought forth this uh, fashion show, the Honor Our Legacy fashion show, it was a great turnout in the community up there. And we wanna say thank you for continuing this on and thank everyone, each and every one of you for your support. And uh, want to say thank you uh, to all the individuals for helping us to work through and navigate through uh, this COVID-19 uh, pandemic. And also, ladies and gentlemen, you know, as we move forward, uh, once again, we want to say thank you to uh, everyone involved in this. My name is Whitney Rencounter the second, and I'm your MC, and we're going to be kicking off things here today, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, continue to stay tuned as we go throughout the day and uh, make recognition to each and every one of you and the sponsors and everybody that kind of keeps us rolling through this uh, program. 
and this organization. And essentially, uh, folks were encouraged to email and send in their videos so we can coordinate and uh, share this fashion show. And uh, we want to say thank you to each and every one of you, all the contestants, all the fashion uh, designers. I want to say thank you to our sponsors, Chippewa Cree Tribe, as well as the Northern Winds Casino and also the Jitterbugs. Thank you all for your support, for helping Rebecca Jarvie and company for the Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show. Thank you for tuning in. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, stand by and stay tuned. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the fashion show. Here we go. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, this afternoon, we're gonna kick off with a flag song as it is quite honorable to use the red, white, and blue, and the stars and stripes to honor not only our veterans, but all the people in the United States, particularly the native people. And this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, we have a well-known group, the Montana Cree, that will be rendering the flag song. And we also have the American Legion Post, number 76, from right here at Rocky Boy, Montana. To kick things off, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to the best adult mask as well as the best kid mask competition. Good luck and thank you to all of our competitors for joining this category. And let's see what we got, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Hello, my name is Lydia Skehan. I'm 24 years old. I'm an enrolled member of the Confederated Tribes of the Amatilla Indian Reservation. And I'm from Lafayette, Idaho. Thank you. Let's get the show on the road here, folks. This fashion show is a very wonderful, wonderful program for all native designers and people and the models that will be introduced and be taking part in this wonderful fashion show here in the Great Bear Paw Mountains. And ladies and gentlemen, we want to welcome and we're going to start off firstly with our adult categories that we'll also refer to as the senior categories in the men and women fashion show. All 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're we're uh, showcasing the talents from across indie country here with the Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show Virtual Edition. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, next up, we're going to go to adult men and women contemporary native fashion category. Ladies and gentlemen, some of the, the uh, great uh, fashion designers from across indie country. Thank you for tuning in here today and reminding you to, to follow and like Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show as well as RebeccaJarvey.com. Don't forget to go to YouTube and uh, get a chance to watch and tune in and watch the uh, fashion show if you missed it. But tuning in live here Friday, September 25th, 5 p.m. Mountain Time, just a reminder of today's festivities. Hashtag Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show and hashtag Honor or Legacy. As well as follow and like Rebecca Jarvey, Rebecca.jarvey on, on uh, Instagram. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we're going to kick it on over to adult men and women contemporary native fashion category. Good luck and thank you, contestants. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying the uh, 2020 Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show Virtual Edition. And we go here next up to the Teen Boys and Girls Contemporary Native Fashion Category. Boy, we got some talented folks all across Indian country combining the power world, the power of designs and fashion with the fashion industry, bringing those together and promoting our indigenous artists. So here we go. On to Teen Boys and Girls, Contemporary Native Fashion Category. Enjoy, ladies and gentlemen, and good luck, contestants.
ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to the 2020 Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show. Friends and relatives, thank you to Rebecca Jarvie and uh, everyone behind the scenes to help make sure that this celebration continues on. Whitney Red Counter II, uh, very honored and privileged to be one of the co-MCs here with Russell Standing Rock and uh, all the head staff this year. And uh, we want to say thank you to all the fashion designers, everybody that keeps our people connected and keeps this rolling. Uh, next up, ladies and gentlemen, friends and relatives, we're going to go on to the next category. Junior boys and girls, Chippewa Cree dancers only, as we share their talents, bringing them on to the Honor Our Legacy fashion show. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying the uh, 2020 Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show Virtual Edition. This year's uh, featured performer, I want to give a shout out here and uh, share some words and recognition to uh, Stephen Spur Puyer, 28 years old, from Thunder Valley, South Dakota, NAMI nominated artist from the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. Spur started singing long ago, as far back as he can remember. It's part of who he is, and he carries himself that way. But we appreciate all the songs that he shares. You look him up on YouTube, as well as pick up some of his uh, 
albums and share some of that music, ladies and gentlemen. Spur, you know, began taking part in ceremonies and sweat lodges and as well as uh, carrying on and, and learning the songs through that way of life, that walk. And so he has a good grounding in there. He sings mostly prayer songs, but uh, through the years as he's gotten older, he's, he's started to share a lot of round dance and love songs and, and uh, keeping it going in that way. And uh, people have really requested that uh, Spurs share his music and his uh, talent of singing. And that's really what he's been doing these last several years. And we appreciate it because these songs really help a lot of people. And uh, the, the gift of music is a blessing to our people and a big part of who we are as indigenous people. And the very, uh, Spur is very thankful that uh, people get a good feeling and he's very appreciative to be part of the 2020 Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show and to share some of that music and these songs. So let's give a shout out to Spur Puyer from Thunder Valley, South Dakota from the Pine Ridge Reservation. Thank you, Spur. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, you're tuned in to the 2020 Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show, right here, virtual edition. And next up, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go on to the designer showcase. Ladies and gentlemen, so stand by some of our featured designers. We're gonna be bringing them forth to you. Akonav Designs by Della, Plain Soul, Kings and Queens, Alex Star Blanket, N.A. Notions, LRB. Ladies and gentlemen, stand by as we go forth here with the designer showcase of the 2020 Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show Virtual Edition. You know, ladies and gentlemen, in Indian country, we have so much to offer. We also have the originator of this fashion show, who herself is also a designer, a model within herself, and her interest was always to promote the passion of our native people, and particularly our native women, to show the fashion that how even different tribes wear their clothing, and how the designs are interpreted, and how the designs come about to promote that particular Indian nation. And in this afternoon, we, we've had this organizer work extremely, extremely hard to promote this program the last few years and this year as well. And we have to recognize and also give thanks to this fine lady that not only promoted, but founded and started this fashion show and era within our native Indian communities. 
So with that, ladies and gentlemen, our founder, Rebecca Charvey. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, you're tuned in to the 2020 Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show. We're going to go over here north of the border into Canada. We're going to go to Kings and Queens. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Kings and Queens is an indigenous owned and operated business run by at sewing goddess Crystal Damaris. Here uh, you can follow uh, Kings and Queens on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, we're appreciative to have them on here. Artist, designer, seamstress, specializing in star quilts, instructor, and also making clothing and so on. And uh, Kings and Queens, third place uh, winners in the Manitou Abbey National Quilting Competition in 2016. Shout out to the Kings and Queens. And uh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to the 2020 Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show, Kings and Queens. Solitude. It's 
Ladies and gentlemen, this afternoon, we have Mr. Alex Starblanket. Alex is indeed one of the foremost designers in Indian country and comes from the Atagago First Nation in Saskatchewan, Canada. And it is always good to have our Indian people be a part of anything that promotes not only our Indian way of life, but promote in business and promote themselves in particular, and especially the things that they do to have to do with their, the culture of our people, the songs of our people, and this afternoon, the dress of our people, the, the, the clothing that our people wear today. As we all know, there is a, there's, there's, there's quite a difference in many of the dress that many of the, even our communities differ Ladies and gentlemen, today we're uh, presenting Mr. Star Blanket, and uh, he's he's been he's been doing this for uh, for quite some times, and and his goal and his key journey is to promote this colorful art, this this colorful colorful way of uh, promoting clothes, promoting how rightfully some of the regalia as an example should be dressed with and used for so today you know we're going to start with with uh mr alex star blanket
All right, once again, ladies and gentlemen, you're tuned in to the 2020 Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show. As we go through the designer showcase, we're gonna go next up to Al B. Uh, Danielle Benton from the Oneida Nation of the Dames in Ontario, Canada, part of the Turtle Clan. Currently residing in Ojibwe country on the La Corte Orels Reservation in Northern Wisconsin with her husband and sons. Danielle is a mother of five and a grandmother of a beautiful granddaughter, Winona, uh, spending her days teaching art to kids at the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, Lo has a love for creating something out of nothing and began uh, as a teen watching her mother and auntie sew and was fascinated by powwow clothing and what they would create as uh, also aspired to sew her own outfits and uh, may have broken a few sh sewing machines along the way. Also has a love for art uh, and started when her father would take her along to uh, see his art classes at Wayne State University in Detroit, Michigan. Also took her to local art museums and enjoyed uh, painting, sewing, and beading. Uh, when she gets a chance, she really loves enjoying being creative. Uh, sewing creativity means nothing. Uh, and that means not having enough of a certain material or notion, but uh, you figure out a way to make it work is uh, part of her idea. Al B is uh, in collaboration uh, with Fresh Teas and Eddie J. Benton and enjoyed putting together many looks uh, for his fashion show and honored to be a part of it, Miigwech, Al B. 2020 Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show. And uh, we appreciate you being part of this great uh, celebration, Al B. We also have a very fine lady that is quite a designer, that is quite a person that designs her own fashion, her own way of, of uh, producing the clothing line that she has. She, uh, she represents the, uh, the uh, Little Shaw people for the state of Montana, Little Shaw, as many of us know, or Chippewa. Some refer as Ojibwe people. She also represents the uh, uh, Plains Soul clothing that she produces, owns, and designs for. So ladies and gentlemen, this fine lady, Carrie, is also with us here this afternoon to do her deed in promoting Indian fashion. So ladies and gentlemen, Carrie McClary.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, you're tuned in to the virtual edition of the fashion show here, Honor Our Legacy, fourth annual Honor Our Legacy fashion show hosted by Rebecca Jarvey and company, myself, Whitney Renkounter II, one of the MCs with Russell Standing Rock. Welcome, and next up, we're gonna go on to the next designer showcase. Go on down here to N.A. Notions, owner of Native American Notions, also a member of the Cheyenne and Arapaho tribes of Oklahoma, grew up in Hammond, Oklahoma, currently residing in Cedar Park, Texas, uh, with her husband and son. They've been sewing for over 20 years, mostly powwow outfits, and found an interest in sewing everyday wear for a few, uh, a few years ago. Uh, thankful to be part of this Honor Our Legacy fashion show. Ha ho! Want to say thank you to NA Notions, Native American Notions 2020, Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show. Here we go. Also, another person that we have going here this afternoon is Della Big Hair Stump. Also a well-known fashion designer, a fashion, fashion queen that promotes many of our Indian way of life. Uh, Della is also a member of the Absharoke, the Crow Nation, out of the Crow Reservation in Montana. Della has always been a, a, a person eager to promote the clothing, not only her tribal clothing, but clothing of other tribes. And uh, Della has also been a participant and also had, uh, had uh, <clears throat> come forth with many of the new designs and many of the, of, the, of the designs we see in Indian country today had come from Della Big Hair Stump Designs. So ladies and gentlemen, we have that fine lady here as well this afternoon, Della Stump Big Hair.
Ladies and gentlemen, once again, you're tuned in to the virtual edition of the 2020 Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show. I want to give a shout out to Rebecca Jarvie and the Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show, representing indigenous peoples all across the nation by way of the Chippewa Cree tribe in Montana. Next up in the designer showcase, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to Okonag, Lauren Aragon is a fashion designer from Acoma Pueblo, New Mexico and CEO of Aconav. Aragon's introduction to the arts at an early age allowed him to maintain a connection to Acoma culture throughout the academic and professional career in mechanical engineering. Living outside his community led a number of new experiences as it allowed Aragon to observe a necessity uh, to preserve the culture of his people and inspire future artistic generations. Lauren's work is the result of combination of artistic vision and techn technological discipline. The application of traditional and modern ideas has allowed Aragon to discover uh, an avenue to express his artistic talents while preserving culture through fashion design. Akonav has become a leading native fashion brand and celebrates the strength and empowerment of women worldwide. Today, the culturally fueled, fueled designs of Aragon continue to gain recognition, creating an awareness uh, to the growing popularity of native fashion. Akona was named 2018 Phoenix Fashion Week Quarter Designer of the Year, which has escalated Lauren's fashion to new heights. A commissioned gown with Walt Disney World in 2018 and a dress that walked the red carpet at the 2019 Tony Awards are among the highlight of Argon's fashion career. Hashtag Akonav, A-C-O-N-A-A-V. Hashtag Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show. Hashtag Honor Our Legacy. Here we go. It's an honor and a privilege to have Akonav, a part of the 2020 Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show. Here we go.
ladies and gentlemen to honor the designers uh, the designs within themselves we're calling upon the montana creed to render an appropriate song of honor for these beautiful beautiful ladies the beautiful beautiful pageantry the clothing that is so beautifully presented and again we call upon the montana creed to proceed with the honoring song at this time all right ladies and gentlemen thank you for tuning in to the 2020 honor our legacy fashion show next up we're going to go to an honor song by our host drum montana creed yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to the 2020 Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show. And we want to give a shout out here, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, thank you to Rebecca Jarvey, uh, myself as the MC, Whitney Rencounter the second. It's a privilege to be a part of this great uh, organization and this great event virtually, keeping it alive. I want to give a shout out to my co MC, Russell Standing Rock. Shout out to Hostra Montana Cree and our invited performer, Spur Puyer, as well as the videographer. Powwow Times. I want to give a special thank you and shout out to Chippewa Cree Tribe. One of the sponsors, also Northern Winds Casino. Special thank you to our other sponsor, Jitterbugs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in to the Honor Our Legacy Fashion Show 2020 Virtual Edition. Here we go. Once again, keep the spirit alive of the fashion and the power world and bringing those together. Thank you very much, Rebecca Jarvey, for helping the people continue to get through and inspiring people to get through this COVID-19 pandemic. 
and we'll be back together again sooner than later. Stay safe, enjoy your beautiful day, friends and rallies. About the program, we also want to thank Chippewa Cree Tribe's very own Northern Winds for their always coming forward and helping not only the community, but anything that's going to benefit the Native people. And this, this week, it's the fashion. It's the fashion show. Along with that, we would like to thank our own Chippewa Cree Tribe, the business committee, and the people that help, and also responsible for many of the things that they had done to promote and make this virtual fashion show a reality. We also want to thank Humbox Elder Jitterbugs. Jitterbugs is also a, an establishment owned by one of our local peoples and has always been a sponsor in many of our activities here. And with that in mind and with that, ladies and gentlemen, we want to say thank you to our very generous sponsors. Thank you.